So that escalated pretty damn quickly, didn't it? Um, so I wanted to post this video in um, defence of my last video, Britain's Coming Home. Okay, so I just wanted to address something quickly. Yes, I stipulated that I don't vote and that I've never voted. And therefore, in my opinion and in the opinion of many, I don't have uh, the right to comment on political matters. And that's a view that I, that I uphold myself. I don't have any place to go getting on my eye horse saying that this party is doing wrong, that that party is doing wrong, because I don't vote. I don't have any reason for not voting, I just never have, and, you know, when I feel like I'm knowledgeable enough about politics, then I may consider placing a vote myself at some point. I don't condone people not voting, it's not that, when I say condone, I don't necessarily mean condone, I don't encourage people not to vote. We all have the right to vote here in the UK as British citizens, and I wouldn't encourage anybody not to vote. You know, it, it's something that is a personal choice, and I would never try to take that choice away from somebody. I just never have. I disabled commenting on the original Britain's Coming Home video because of the comments that people were leaving saying that I'm the problem with this country, people like me, because I don't vote. And I take offence to that because it doesn't really matter what side of the fence you sit on when it comes to voting with party polit parties. Because if I come to you, which I did yesterday, and say, I don't vote, people are going to get on my case and say, you're the problem with this country because you don't vote and you should stand up for what we believe and this, that and the other. <clears throat> and then if you kind of take it from another point of view, if I was to come to you and say, I vote Labour, I vote Lib Dem, I vote Tory, I vote UKIP, I'm still going to get people hate on me because by voting for whichever party, you're going to be doing wrong because other people who voted for other parties are going to be like, well, you're voting for the wrong party. So you're in a bit of a, 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 a lose-lose situation. You're kind of damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. The point is, we have the freedom to be able to vote or not vote, and to vote for whoever we think is going to do the best job. So by get, uh, getting on somebody's case because they're voting for someone that you don't necessarily agree with, is that really wrong? Surely not. We have the freedom of speech. We have, we're able to, to say what we want and vote for who we want. I choose not to vote, whereas you might choose to vote for the Conservatives, or you might choose to vote for Labour. Well, that's not my place to say that you're wrong or right, or anybody else's place to say that you're wrong or right in choosing who you vote for. The point of me making the original video yesterday, Britain's Coming Home, was just to condemn that woman for ruining a really good song. It was abysmal. It was, it, was, it was just dreadful. And it wasn't about the politics behind it. It was about... That's the, the song that Badil and Skinner originally released. It was meant to... It was meant to instill a little bit of... Um, what's the word? It was meant to get the nation going. You know, it was meant to bring us all together... You know, we had a good shot in that particular year to, to, to win the World Cup. Again, a subject that doesn't bother me. I'm not into sports. I'm not into football at all. I hate it. it it's completely mindless to me. But the song originally was a great song. It really did kind of inspire people to get behind um, the World Cup in that particular year. And it was good. It was, it was a catchy little song. I mean, granted, Padil and Skin are not the best singers in the world, but it was a good little song. And what this woman done with that song just 
it was it was horrible. Come on, people, you must realise. Forget about the politics behind it because that's not what I was trying to talk about. I was trying to say this song is shit. This woman cannot sing. It's a travesty. She's ruined the song. I'm all up for people covering songs. Sometimes people cover songs and it's an amazing cover and it it brings back old music and the younger generations can then look back at the original songs and go, do you know what? That's a really, really good song. I'm glad they've brought that back because if they hadn't, I wouldn't necessarily know about this artist from yesteryear. I hope that the song brings back Badil and Skinner because it was a good song. You know, it, it done what it needed to do. It made us feel good for a time about our country um, and really got us behind the England World Cup team. That's what the video was about. It wasn't about politics. I don't want to know what your views are on politics because I have no right to know. I don't want to know what you personally feel. I don't want to know who you vote for. I don't want to know this information and I don't want you guys getting on me because I say I don't vote. Because I don't have the right to be talking about politics. Which is why I never really do because I don't vote. I have no right to get upset when David Cameron tries pulling us out of the EU. Or wants us, sorry, he wants us, see this is how little I know. I have no right to be concerned or to get on my bandwagon when David Cameron tries to make us stay in the EU and when Boris Johnson goes, do you know what, no, let's leave the EU. I can't comment on either side of that fence, really, because I don't have the right because I never voted in the first place. Will I vote on the in-out referendum? Probably not, because I don't know enough about it. I don't know what David Cameron's trying to change within the, within the EU. I don't know what agreements he's made with the EU. So I, I can't comment. So, yeah. What the fuck? People, have your views. Vote for who you want to vote. Or don't vote. It's entirely up to you. I'm not here to try and sway you. I'm going to send you much love and wish you all well and have a wonderful day. And whether we stay in the EU or not, ah, it's a trade agreement for fuck's sake. I don't care. I probably should care. But I don't know enough about it. And I don't have the inclination to know about it. And hate on me all you want. Because, do you know what? Hey... I'm not bothered. I'll leave the comments open because, do you know what? It's quite amusing seeing some of the shit that people chat about, you know. It's fun. I'm thick-skinned. And as long as you're picking on me and swearing at me and calling me every name under the sun, you're leaving some other poor bugger alone that doesn't really deserve it. Not saying that I deserve it, but, you know, I'm a nice guy. I've got kids. You know, I work a job. But hey-ho, never mind. Take care, guys. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to reading some of your nasty comments. Cheers.